Today we're going to use ChatGPT to write our medical device documentation, or at least we're going to try it. So um, stay tuned to see whether this will actually work. Um, as a quick primer, I run a company called Open Regulatory, and uh, in case you didn't know it, we became famous because we just started sharing all our templates for free. So you can go to our website, openregulatory.com, go to templates, and people are always very surprised when I show them this. They're like, what is, what is wrong with you? Why are you sharing this for free? Um, I also don't know, but we thought a lot of startups would benefit from this and we can make the whole industry of medical device compliance uh, more transparent. And that's exactly where we're going to get started right now. So we're actually going to look at one of the templates. So let's see, um, ISO 13485 templates. Let's take the quality manual. Oh, great. I'm not knowing the... Oh, great. Uh, who invented sliced bread? Um, I'm not going to... Uh, actually, forgot the name of my own template. Um, so you can see the template here. We can download it as Word file or PDF, whoever downloads it as a PDF. And um, for this experiment, we actually, we actually need the markdown file. So you can download it as a markdown file and then um, put it into ChatGPT. So that's exactly what we'll be trying right now. So go to ChatGPT, uh, create a new chat here. Now the thing is like we need some sort of prompt, right? So let's, let's keep it simple and let's say like, um, like edit the following uh, regulatory or medical device compliance document with the following information. Then we want to change something in here, right? Because it needs some, um, some information about our company. So if we actually look at the preview of this template, you can see um, there's a lot of like generic blah, blah. Oh yeah, it has the company name. So we probably want to enter that. It has like a quality policy, um, roles. Oh, this, this could be quite interesting. So we could kind of like try to kind of like, like what a job we would give an intern to kind of like make it fill in the, the placeholders here. So um, maybe company name, the people, and maybe something like the quality objective or so. So the prompt would kind of like need to include this. So we kind of like say, okay, um, the company name is uh, Magic Software Company. Um, its CEO is Sam Altman. And the quality objective is, I don't know, to ship superior medical software. Okay, um, edit this template. And then you would copy paste uh, the markdown template into this prompt. Um, so that would be the general setup. And then we of course need the markdown. So I actually already did this to speed this up because actually waiting for the output takes pretty long. So where's the actual output? Oh yeah, wait, there's a, there's a huge bug here. Anyway, uh, here's the actual output. And then you can see I wrote something really similar. And in this case, I was just testing it whether it can replace, whether it finds and correctly replaces the CEO um, name in the template. So you can see, okay, it pretty much did the same here, blah, blah, blah. And let's look at the output and you can see uh, somewhere here, it did it correctly. Um, the interesting thing now here is because this was super lengthy, actually ChatGPT stopped generating at some stage. So this kind of like sucked and also this took forever. So um, we actually built like a feature in our product around this to make this much more convenient and much more easy for you. So we have QMS software, which we call Formwork, and this is the software. This is the software. Um, one of the benefits of that is that you actually get all the templates built into this software. So you, you like log in, I won't go into too much detail here. And then you have all the open regulatory templates in here. So you can go to uh, quality management system and then quality manual somewhere. And then um, you can open it and then click on this menu thing and then pretty much just copy paste it to your own directory structure. So I think that's really cool and that saves you a lot of time. Now we built ChatGPT into this product to make it even easier for you to do kind of something like a smart copy paste. We call it like the magic EMS setup. And um, this is already the second version of this feature. So I'll show you how it actually works. And under the hood, it's actually really similar to what we just did with ChatGPT. So we go to, hmm, to open regulatory templates, one click QMS setup, 
And then you can see you have this AI enhancement thing. And we already like essentially provide you with a prompt here for providing just the right company information. You can of course kind of like customize this and you probably should otherwise you have Steve Jobs as a CEO everywhere. Um, and then, yeah, let's make Sam Altman CEO and CTO. And you kind of like save this prompt. And the cool thing is that the software then already like provides you with some example documentation which you can preview to see like the customizations which uh, the GPT is doing um, in real time. So let's actually try this out and um, let's take the quality management manual and hit preview. So this will actually take a while so I'm gonna skip ahead to the actual time when it's done. All right, so now we're done and here's the output. And it actually was faster than using the ChatGPT UI. At least that's, <laughs> that's what I tell myself. <laughs> um, so you can see the template here. And the cool thing also is that uh, the software automatically highlights the changes in red. So one cool thing is already it uh, entered the company name here. So you can see open regulatory everywhere. Um, and it correctly entered the people here. Uh, not in red because probably it's a table but I think that's still pretty cool. So it made the changes to the template and now you can use this template as like a stepping stone to actually customize it even further and get it done. Um, is this like crazy automation of regulatory documentation? I think it's not. You still like need some sort of like human element to actually review the documents and don't forget it's in the end, it's you who has to actually explain these documents to an auditor and answer questions. So in contrast to stuff like with your tax advisor, you can't just kind of like send it to someone and forget about it. Unfortunately, you have to understand it and explain it to someone. But that being said, it actually saves you a gigantic amount of time and money because firstly, you didn't have to pay a consultant for these templates, they're free. And secondly, you didn't have to pay an intern or some other person to make simple changes to these templates because that's exactly what we did with ChatGPT in the background. So I think that's really, really exciting and it helps you really get your regulatory documentation done in much less time. So my estimation would be Typically, uh, companies need around like one year to get that entire set of documentation done. And probably with our software, with the automations you've got in there, chat GPT, free templates and everything, full transparency, I would say you could probably get it done in two to three months. All right, so the cool news is that the software actually has a free tier, so you can actually try it out. That being said, the actual like uh, auto generation feature is unfortunately a paid feature because we can't give out unlimited stuff for free, but we still give out a lot for free. And if you like, uh, if you have like unlimited time, you could still, in theory, do it manual with ChatGPT with the first method I show you. All right, so um, good luck with your regulatory documentation. I hope it's not too painful, and feel free to try out the software if you're interested.